All right, so I get this quote from Nightingale Conant. Maybe you're familiar with that uh, company. Founded, oh, I don't know what, 50, 60 years ago by Earl Nightingale and Lloyd Conant. It's the largest self-development company in the United States. I get this motivational quote every day with some information about it. And this one is from Joe Vitale. And it reads, a goal should scare you a little and excite you a lot. So I decided, you know what, let me just talk a little bit about goals here. Goal setting, goal achieving, goals, goals, goals. Well, here is my take on it. Having been in this arena of personal development, of having a life, creating a life for quite a long time. First of all, you got to have a goal. Honest to Pete, if you don't have a goal, like when I was younger, I didn't have a goal. I had no idea, absolutely no idea. Unfortunately, nobody guided me, so didn't have any goal. Then I discovered that you need to have a goal because if you don't have a goal, you're like a ship without a rudder or you're without a captain who is you know, on a ship, but he has no idea where to go. So you're basically not going anywhere. So you got to have a goal. That is something that takes more than you think it does. How do you figure out what your goal is? In my book, I believe it hangs together about who are you? What is it that you truly want? What do you love to do? What are you good at? What do you absolutely do not ever like to do? It's always an easy one. If you don't know what your goal is, you don't know where you want to go, or you don't know what you want to do, just write down all the things you definitely never, ever want to do. And something will perk up there that you do like to do. My suggestion is look back at your childhood. What did you like to do as a child? What did you like to do as a teenager when you had no worries, when the world was bliss? Hopefully it was bliss for you. And otherwise, just look at your life right now and go like, okay, if money and time were not an issue, what would I do? Out of that, write it down and write it down, write it down, write it down, comes something that you truly love to do. Something that excites you because that's the most important thing. It's got to excite you. So find out what it is that you want to do. Most important. Then the next point is, what do I need to learn to get onto the path to get me where I want to go? Maybe you want to do something that's totally different from what you are doing right now and you don't have the skills that you need to get there. No big deal. There are so many possibilities to get the skills. Libraries, ample. There is, of course, a lot of paid training that you can do, but why not have a look in the library first? Maybe you'll find some very good, as I discovered recently, there are so many audio books there. There are so many self-help books. There are so many books in whatever direction you want to go to. So check out that. Then do your investigation online on Google. There is so much. You can figure out what gurus are doing, what they're willing to teach you. Look on YouTube. A lot of information there too. Get some ideas. Then check out, because here's the thing, what you want to do in your life is most likely already done or is somebody else is doing that right now. But don't get afraid of that. Do not get afraid of that or worried because you are doing it in your own way. You're going to be giving your energy to that, your life's energy. So that means that you're going to be attracting the people you need to attract, the people who need to hear from you. Everything anybody brings to this planet is always different and it depends on the energy who you are. It's very simple. That's the difference. And then start writing down your plan. When you start to learn a little bit about where it is you want to go, and there's always possibilities, once you've made the decision, and this is again in the book of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, once you've made the decision that you want to go into a certain direction, in the first instance, you do not need money. Money will come at a certain point towards you. So don't worry about that. You can start where you want to go without money. So next step is start writing your plan down. How do you, when do you want to reach your goal? How much do you want to 
spend how much time do you want to spend on a daily basis on reaching your goal write out your plan so then what steps do you need to take it is you know a goal is not so much like when you reach it a goal is more like what kind of a person am i becoming in the meantime and what do i need to learn to get closer to my goal a goal is just you know a way of going in a certain direction and what we do here on this planet is learning 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 we're all about learning and improving ourselves so when you have a goal that means you want to learn in a certain direction so just go for that go for that figure it out pick up the books follow the courses set the plan and go for that just remember that whatever you want to achieve in life nobody has done it exactly the way you're going to be doing it and maybe along the way you'll tweak it a little bit you go a little bit this way a little bit that way you will encounter the right people that will take you further and what i have learned over the years is that meditation helps a lot um, edison used to meditate he would go as he would call it to the land of solutions that's what meditating is you go into this this semi relax you semi sleep state relaxed state and you start asking the universe questions and you just wait for the answers they will not immediately come but you've asked the questions and you will get the answers in the form of hunches um, little thoughts that come up all of a sudden and then act on those act on those immediately when you get those feelings that you need to do something go like no i'll do that tomorrow no when you get a hunch or you get a feeling that you need to do something do it immediately do it immediately respond to the universe so meditate then write down your experiences during the meditation and also before you go to sleep and immediately upon waking the next morning read out what your goal is read it out out loud to yourself another ingredient that's vitally important is hold the faith you gotta have hope you gotta hold the faith because if you don't have faith it's not gonna happen so those are approximately the ideas the ingredients to you know create a goal and move towards your goal so much is written about goals so much is 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 so much emphasis on it um what is the intention of a goal actually the intention of a goal is to give your life a meaning to make it profound to make it lasting to to leave perhaps a legacy you came with a mission to this planet and whatever time it is now for you just step up to the plate and start executing on that mission because it's going to leave you a very dissatisfied feeling if you do not go into the direction and maybe you say like well when i was a child i didn't have the money and i didn't i wanted to do this and now i don't have the money to do this or that or so look at yourself look at yourself straight in the eye in the mirror and say to yourself are these excuses or is it really the truth I have learned a lot from my mentors and it's taken me a long time to figure out where my goal is what I want to do and also learning to go into that direction I've tried many things to help me along the way a lot of them did not work because it didn't jazz with me and some other things have been helping me but in the, in the process of moving forward I have become in my book so far already um, a much better person I feel much more balanced than I used to be as a much younger person um, and I feel I have so much more to give and to go so I know that I have a mission and I know what my mission is and I'm, 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 I'm going towards that and in the meantime I have these little goals on the side that I'm doing as well they help me and I keep having an open mind I keep being faithful hopeful grateful um, open mind for opportunities that come on my path and I believe that's important as well who am I becoming that's the question 
that you want to look at all the time. Who are you becoming in the process of moving towards your goal? Very important. There's a lot of self-help. There's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of stuff that is not so profound. Sometimes you have to go through a number of things to figure out what is helping you. Uh, because And that is also a learning lesson. Just see every challenge as every problem. See that as a lesson to learn to, to move to a higher elevation. Even when the going gets tough, especially then, just keep holding on to the picture of your goal that you have in front of you. Just keep holding on to it. That's what I do. I have my vision boards on the wall. I have my slogans on the wall. I have my mastermind call in the morning, Monday through Friday, the Think and Grow Rich call, which really, really, really helps me. Telephone number 712-432-0900. Pin code 565-762-POUND. Hop on it. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just being held accountable, just staying in the energy, just staying in the positive, supportive energy of that whole group really, really helps me. Paul Hutchins is a wonderful man, and I'm ever so grateful for him to have started this, this mastermind group. So take out a pencil, piece of paper, and start writing out what you do not want and what you do want to do in your life. If you haven't figured it out, it will pop up. You have a mission. And actually, the world is waiting for you and your mission. So express yourself. Good luck. I look forward to hearing from you.